we hear from Supercharged Wrestling World Champion, Johnny Champion. Also, the first matches for our pay-per-view event announced. And we also hear from the Ghostbusters. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Richie Sailboats, and welcome back to Wrestle News Weekly. Well, folks, last week we had quite a bit of a shocker announcement that a brand new tag team was coming to Supercharged Wrestling. We played a little promo, it was very eerie, very spooky. And at the end of the video, we saw a little ghost symbol. What does that mean? Well, I'm proud to announce that the newest tag team coming to Supercharged Wrestling is, in fact, the Ghostbusters. Here is a word. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are the, the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Have you been experiencing paranormal activities? Are ghosts uh, pooping in your toilet without asking permission? Are they coming into your wrestling show and pretending to be invisible people? Speaking of invisible people, you might be wondering the reason why we're at Supercharged Wrestling. It is because of a tag team we've heard about called the Invisible Boys. The Invisible Boys. We have researched thoroughly and actually figured out that they were once a tag team who was killed in action during a match due to a double clothesline. We want to learn more about the Invisible Boys, so please come out of your hiding spots and let's just have a good old fashioned conversation. We are the, the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. We're ready, ready to, to believe, believe you. you. The Ghostbusters have come to Supercharged Wrestling. Who could have seen that coming? Invisible Boys, if you're out there somewhere, you know, these people want to learn more about you, it seems like, so keep an eye out. Now, just a few days ago, our very own Wet Knife uh, was had a scheduled interview with the president of Z Rice Films, Mr. Xander Rice. He went on to this talk show, and he spoke a little bit about uh, his time as a very successful rapper. Um, and also as his time with us here at Supercharged Wrestling. And he was also given the tough decision by Lil Dick recently whether or not he wants to fight Lil Dick in a career match. So this is what I've had to say about that. You challenged Lil Dick to a fight a few weeks ago, and according to Lil Dick, she accepts your fight. What? Since when? Since the latest episode of Wrestling News Weekly, of course. Take a look. You've been on the top for far too long, thinking you run this place. You ain't nothing but a low-life SoundCloud rapper. I accept your challenge on one condition, career match. I win, you ain't never stepping in a ring again because you aren't wrestling. You want me to put my wrestling career on the line? One of the only things that I have left in this world? I say okay. I say okay. It's gonna be me and you, little dick. And hell isn't big enough for both of us, so I'm sending you down there alone. Well, folks, it's been quite the evening. So, folks, it looks like the career match is on, and I just spoke with Mr. Boss. This is the very first match booked for Wrestle Crusade Reckoning. It will be Wet Knife versus Lil Dick. If Wet Knife loses, he will never wrestle again. Those are quite the high stakes you got there. Best of luck to Wet Knife, best of luck to Lil Dick as well, and may the best buy to win. Speaking of matches being booked, now a few weeks ago, actually, this has been going on for quite some months now, so I can't really say a few weeks ago because I'd just be long about that now, wouldn't I? Gunnar Jones, that's right, my auction nemesis, as it were, has still kept normal Steve locked up, wherever he may be in Gunnar Jones' dungeon, as it were. And he made the challenge, somebody from somewhere, come and get normal Steve. Well, Karate Shop has answered the call, and Mr. Boss has made it official. The dungeon match will be held in just a few short days. It will be a YouTube exclusive match. It won't be a part of any pay-per-view, so you'll just be able to watch it right here on this YouTube channel in a few days. Karate Shop. Gunnar Jones in a dungeon match when I get normal Steve, basically. That's pretty much what this is all about. But I see this more as a, a rescue mission. 
Karate Chop, I wish you the best of luck. You're going into a world of hurt, a world of battle, a world of pain, a world of torture. Gunner Jones broke my arm a few months ago, and I hope he just doesn't do the same with you, because we need you, Karate Chop, now more than ever. And I'm so excited to say that Normal Steve looks like he's coming home. Now, before we get to the main portion of the show, where we talk to world champion, Johnny Champion, I'd just like to say, it's time for Wrestler of the Week. This week's Wrestler of the Week is Wet Knife. Wet Knife made his Supercharged Wrestling debut at Wrestle Crusade when he wrestled his former friend Lil Lil. And although he lost the match, he sure showed to have a lot of heart, a lot of courage. And now as he heads into his career match against Lil Dick, the best I can say is good luck and I hope the very best for Wet Knife. And that is why he is our Wrestler of the Week. Well, folks, it's come down to this. We're going to speak to Johnny Champion. I'm sure he has a lot on his mind now, as we all know. Mr. Crazy has pressured him for a world title opportunity. Mr. Crazy believes that he deserves it, but will Johnny Champion believe that he's earned it? Let's go down to Johnny Champion. Let me just get straight to the point here. You all know who I am. I'm Johnny Champion. I'm the greatest professional wrestler in Supercharged Wrestling history. And I'm the greatest professional wrestler in the world today. Well, there's a few things that are on my mind. I'd just like to share them with you today. <clears throat> Over the last few weeks, there's been a... There's been a little fellow, a little guy, a little lad. It's been irking me. It's been getting on my nerves. It's been... Quite frankly, getting into my head, fine, I'll say it. A little fellow by the name of Mr. Crazy. Now, I've talked about you before. I'm assuming you're listening to this, so I'm just going to start addressing you personally. Mr. Crazy, I know what you want. You want this. Something you've never had. You have, you've had the Extreme Backyard Fighting Championship. That's over there in my other collection. I put it with the others. That's something you'll never get your hands on again. But this... This is the world championship of this company. I'm the longest reigning and defending champion. And I am the only champion. Supercharged Wrestling has been around for... For, for, for close to two years now. And there hasn't been one single person who could touch me. So what makes you think, Mr. Crazy, just for one second, that you would have even the slightest chance of pinning me to the ground, of body slamming me to the ground, or doing your little stupid finisher to me to the ground? Whatever you want to call it, I don't know. I don't care. The fact is, is that you and I are different people. I'm rich, you're poor. I have a world championship, you don't. I have a better win-loss record, you don't. I've made it as an athlete, as a competitor, as a wrestler in this company. You're on your way there, let me give you that. When this whole Mr. Crazy Road of Redemption started, I see what you're doing. You're trying to build yourself up. When this whole Road of Redemption thing started, I'll admit I didn't have a lot of faith in you. I didn't think you were the same person, because like I said before, you are a man who has lost everything. And why would I put my title on the line to someone who I know is... Less superior than I am. But let me tell you something. You've impressed me lately, Mr. Crazy. You've beaten a couple of opponents over these last few events, including the most feared man in wrestling today, Gunner Jones. You and him had an incredible death match that went on goddamn nearly 30 minutes. You guys beat the hell out of each other. <sighs> but you see, the thing is, is that... 
even if you and I were to step in the ring together, that just wouldn't happen. It wouldn't play out the same. In fact, I don't even have a finishing move. More on that later. This... This doesn't mean as much to me as it means to be on the top. I am the top. I am the bar. I am the trendsetter. I am the main eventer. I am Johnny Trumpian! So you know what? I'll give you your shot, Mr. Crazy. There, I said it! I'll give you your shot under one condition. I'm going to use my finisher for the very first time. I've had it locked away in the vaults for a very long time. The world has never seen it before. But come at Wrestle Crusade Reckoning, you're going to be the first one to endure it. And you're going to be the last one to ever see the light of day ever again. It's going to be me, Johnny Champion, and you, Professor Fart, one on one for this title. You want it so badly, you got it. Cause frankly I'm sick of everyone claiming that you're the best in the world. Cause it's not true. I'm the best! Well, as a crusade reckoning, you're about to get a rude awakening, Mr. Crazy. Your road of redemption is over. This is what greatness looks like. Oh my goodness, well, I just got word that it is official, folks. For the Supercharged Wrestling World Championship, it will be Johnny Champion versus Mr. Crazy for the first time ever. Johnny Champion, of course, the king of Supercharged Wrestling, and Mr. Crazy, the king of hardcore. It's going to be quite the clash of battles, the clash of styles, but I'm happy to say that this is your main event for Wrestle Crusade Reckoning. Well, folks, that's pretty much all the time we have here today. My name is Ricky Sable. Don't forget next week to come back for a brand new episode. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our Instagram, and head to our website for much stuff, anything that you want. It's, that's a great website, okay? Anyways, folks, good night.